In this video, we will continue on our Ambiger Flutter app. Inside the stack widget that we have created on the uh, previous video, we will add a widget called the Positioned. So let's find this one and then we add it. Perfect. After, in the argument child, what we will do is we will put the container widget. So the container will appear and we select container. Then uh, I will format document with the comma and inside the container, we will add another argument. This one will be the height. The height argument will be uh, 50. And then we can add the child argument. This one will be uh, a widget card. The card, it's like the container, but with some elevation, some, some uh, shadow on it. So in the card, you can add a child argument and this child, so what is inside the card, will be a text form field. So you have it right here. It's a place to write text called text form field. After the position head, we'll place the, take the, the form field at the end. So it's bottom zero, argument bottom and zero. After, um, on this uh, container, so after the container of the column, we will add a sized box with some height. And the height will be to put the search bar a little bit uh, uh, down. So we put height of 20. So then if we go back, this will go in the uh, just after the uh, container, the green container. So this is uh, better visually. After the card, we will add an elevation of three, and then we will add another argument, this one called shape. And we have the shape inside the card widget. So the shape will be a rounded rectangle border widget. This one have inside an argument called border radius, and this border radius will take a border radius dot circular. And the value inside the circular will be uh, 15. Perfect, I put the comma and format document. So that is good. We have our text form field, way better now. After what we will need to put is a margin. So we will put a edge insect dot symmetric. And this uh, we will put inside only the horizontal value. Don't, so argument. And in this horizontal, we'll put 50. Here we go. The purpose to put uh, the uh, margin is to uh, shrink a little bit the uh, text form field. But right now we don't see it uh, as it should. So we, we need to add inside the container a width. And this width will be the size dot width. So now the text form field should be at the good place. That's perfect. Okay. Now what we will need to do is work inside the text form field widget. And to work inside, we will add the first argument inside this one, and it will be uh, the decoration, if I remember. So I will write decoration. And inside the decoration, we will put the input decoration widget. So we will remove this because this is a little bit weird. And as you can see, this is not the good widget, it's input decoration. And we, now we can add the border argument. So I will write border and this is the argument. And after this argument will take the input border dot none. And this will remove the little line under the text form field. That's good. Next step, another argument. So Flutter is updating the app and then we will put inside this one, the label text. And the label text will be what is inside the text form field. So um, I will say by example, 
what does your belly want? And then if we go back inside the app, we will see that we have the text right here. And we will say uh, to eat. What does your belly want to eat? That's good. Next thing, we will add to add, we will need to add the suffix icon. And this is the icon at the end of uh, the label text, by example. So we will say icon widget icons dot search. Perfect. So now we have the suffix icon. We will need to add another argument as well. And this one, uh, we will create uh, the content padding. This is because if I go back, you see the text is too close to the text form field. So we add the content padding with a edge insect dot only. And this uh, edge insect dot only will take the left argument with 20, the value. And this is way better. That's good. After that, we will go back inside the main and in the sliver app bar, uh, we have the sliver app bar, the header, and after the header, I mean, we will add another sliver list. This sliver list have a delegate argument. And in this one, we will add the widget sliver child list delegate. You are not uh, obligated to do this part, but it's just to make the code a little bit funnier. So we had uh, inside the header, uh, I'm com coming back inside the main, and inside the sliver child, uh, child list delegate, we will put the, uh, the list, and inside this list, we'll have a text widget that have the value hamburger. And the style of this uh, hamburger will be, so I'll just put the comma and format document. The style will be the text style. And as you can see, we miss a, a bracket. I will put him back after. So style, text style, font size of 300 to make the text very, very big. Here we go. So as you can see, we have something like that. When we scroll the menu, the header go, go down. And when we come back, the header is there. That's it for this one. See you on the next video. Bye.